Alrighty, so today what we are going to do is we are going to see how well Ryobi came along throughout its history of developing tools. We're going to see how the new Ryobi HP 3 8 inch impact wrench performs against the DeWalt 3 8 inch impact wrench. The DeWalt model is not new, but the Ryobi model is. Now there is a tiny size, uh, there is a size uh, difference between them, but they both are low range impact wrenches. So I want to see what, how well these actually perform against each other because neither of them are really that powerful. So I think this is a 100% fair fight. We are going to do uh, the six amp hour HP battery in the Ryobi and the six amp hour flex float advantage battery in the DeWalt. And both of these batteries actually have 18650 cells in them. So I think it's a, I think it's going to be a fair test. Now the Ryobi does have a speed selector. The DeWalt is variable trigger only. There is an LED light on the base for the Ryobi and there's a tri LED beam on the front. Now they both have friction rings on their anvils. And so, yeah, so we're going to go over the specs uh, after the test. So stay tuned for that. Let's get to the test. Remember when you work, wear gloves and safety glasses. Got mine right here. All right, so for, we're only going to do a couple of tests. We're going to do a nut busting test after we do these. We're going to do a two, four, one, four inch each. And we're going to do one, six inch each. These are half inch lags. So after this, we'll, uh, we'll bust some nuts. Let's do the DeWalt first. Like I said, I do not like using three eighths inch sockets in, ma in many comments. That's why I have a half inch to a uh, three eighths to a half inch adapter. There we go. Let's do DeWalt first. The battery, we're gonna, we'll check this out at the end of the video. The battery is full. Variable trigger only. Right here is good. All right, so ready? Go. Time. Now this tool is this tool really isn't that loud. All right, let's do Ryobi next. Battery is full. We'll check it out at the end of the video. All right, so ready? Go. Ooh. Oh, sorry. It was on auto. Got to make sure it's on speed 3. Let's try that again. Right here is good. All right, so ready? Go. Time. Now this, on the other hand, is a little bit louder than the DeWalt. All right, so let's take, let's take out DeWalt's. All right, so ready, go. Time. Let's take out Ryobi's. All right, so ready, go. Time. All right, so next let's do the six inch, the six inch lag. Zoom out a little bit. Right here is good. All right, so ready, go.
right, so like I said, both of these ones are 250 and these four are 190. All right, so let's do DeWalt first. Let's see if we can bust this nut. I doubt it. I doubt it can, but we will see. Up oh, for the battery is full still. All right, so ready? Go. It is unable to. Uh, 250 is a bit too much. All right, so let's do the, the 190. Ready? Go. Busted the nut. All right, the other 190. Ready? Go. Busted that nut. All righty, so let's do Ryobi next. Battery is full. Let's see if we can do 250. All right, so ready, go. It cannot, not even a budge. All right, so let's do, see if we can do 190. Ready, up oh, this one first, ready, go. It cannot. Let's see if we can do the other one. Ready? Go. It cannot. All right. So this just uh, this just does not have the power to take these out. And the Dewalt successfully took two out, but failed on the 250. All right, so this is the Ryobi HP brand new impact wrench, the 3 8 with the with a friction ring. This is model number PSB1, sorry, sorry, PSB IW01CN, uh, 3 8 inch anvil, 18 volt system. Uh, this only gives the specs for the highest speed, 0, zero to 2900 RPM and 0 to 3800 impacts per minute. Like I said uh, in the earlier video, LED light on the base, uh, speed settings one two three and it has auto and so yeah, it is a, it is the new compact 3 8 inch impact wrench for the dewalt this model is not new uh but it is sort of a new tool because i barely use this one this is model number dsf 890 3 inch impact wrench uh zero to 3200 impacts per minute and zero to 30 uh, 2800 rpm so there you go. That's pretty much it for the test. The test was pretty good if you ask me. The DeWalt is more powerful than the Ryobi is, but, but the Ryobi is more compact. And like I said, both of these are very low range impact wrenches. Both of these are weak compared to their bigger brothers. And so yeah, the Ryobi is coming out with a new P, uh, impact wrench. It's called the P262. 600 foot pounds of nut buzzing torque for the new one. And so yeah, I can't wait to get that and actually go against the DeWalt's big brother. But the DeWalt is more powerful. And so, yeah, so if you found this video helpful and entertaining, please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos and please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.